Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Okay, so we have a very stressful evening uh, ahead of us here at the lair. Uh, these Papu and Taipan babies, I need to make a good uh, try at sexing them. Uh, by attitude alone, this is female, and I think that will bear out. Uh, I've already had her up in, I already tubed her and looked at her, and to me, definitely looked female. Um, you know, unfortunately, these bins are just way too shallow for these guys, but this is the only place I have for them right uh, at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure that we'll show you what this whole process looks like because <laughs> it's very fraught with uh, with danger um, for both me and the animal. Uh, these things just are, take no prisoners, are very vicious. Uh, they don't hook. They're like freaking warp drive uh, Star Trek vehicles. Um, I have this bin here just to be there, just to uh, just to catch the little beastie and throw him in uh, to start and then I glove up and uh, uh, fight to get them in the tube up here um, which is uh, which is just uh, very uh, uh, very difficult to do. They're not easy, easy snakes to work with. I can say these are absolutely aggressive snakes. No doubt about that. Yeah, th these guys think that I'm here to kill them, uh, so their their objective is to kill me first, and that way they may survive. So this is fight and flight response. Uh, sort of a deal and as you can see they're totally uncontrollable by normal means um, that probably is a male um, they're on crack they're totally out of control um, these are very dangerous little animals. Isn't this the one that uh, David got uh, tagged by? Yes, David uh, Williams makes his living treating snake bite in Papua New Guinea. He's with, with the Australian uh, uh, Venom Research Unit. He's with the World Health Organization. He's very responsible for finally getting the World Health Organization to finally um, Accept snake bite as a serious health issue for developing worlds, um, and uh, it's it's to a lot of his effort and many other people. But he was tagged by one of these, and it nearly killed him. And he has the anti venom and and the know how, and the do he trained the doctors who actually treated him. So. Um, these are bad news. These are very, very bad news snakes. I don't even try to be nice to them because that will get me bit. Um, so I just, uh, um, I just grab them and let them do their thing uh, and get them uh, in the tube if I can. If they'll cooperate, if they don't, I'll just restrain them and stick their heads in anyway. Um, the fact that they open their mouth and twist and turn uh, makes them very difficult to uh, uh, to work with. So uh, we're gonna pause here and let me out. No, we're just gonna regroup. Yeah, bite yourself. See if that uh, <laughs> stop. Look, I get the point, but you know this isn't uh, going to help you at all. Um, yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> it's tough to even uh, even think about pinning them to pick them up. These are very bad news little critters, or bad hombres as they would say. So now we're going to stick the head in there so I can safely look at their tuchus and not pay attention to where the pointy end is. Uh, do we have the next sticker? Number yes, four. We do, and you need to... Yeah, so we have a method to our craziness here that we sort of worked out. Um, I uh, grab uh, the little blighter and we're assigning it a number uh, because it's much easier to look at pictures and compare later on and that way we have a good idea who's male and who's female so this is uh, this is a new no fun thing to do in the lair I, I guarantee you this is uh, This is dangerous, and you know, normally, how often do you folks see me doing uh, tongue work, uh, restraining snakes like this? Um, it just almost, this is like the only time. Uh, every other thing that's come across my path, I've, I've hooked, I've been very gentle, trying to avoid the tongs because that freaks them out, but these are already freaked out, therefore, uh, it's just, uh, you know, all bets are off. I am just going to do what it takes to safely restrain the animal so I can identify its sex and I can uh, get these off to the, the individuals in, in labs and such that want them. Because I certainly don't want to keep them around. All right. So, uh, the Russell Vipers that came in, a bunch of them are going out to the Kentucky Reptile Zoo and also uh, have uh, a male taipan uh, baby to go out. Uh, they already received a, a female from me, from the last brood. Hi, how you doing bud? I know, oh, we're parting our lips already. <laughs> oh, they just... They let you know exactly how they're uh, looking at the situation. Hi, I know. You're a foul little beastie and I haven't even touched you yet. I know, I know. Well, this is not going to be very pleasant for you or f for me, but you've got to go in this... Uh... Oh, the tongue is flicking Well, oh, look, the mouth is open, the lips are parting, it's like... You know, get away from me. Ready to launch. Ready to wreak havoc. Hey! No oh, snake knocking with the tight hand. <laughs> and Elvis is sort of right there. <clears throat> so, yes, that is a male. No, 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 no reverse polarity. Come on. Get a little beasty. Go into the... My, are you being, uh... Oh, just bit himself. Yeah, that happens. All right. So, as I was going to say, this device is called the Uplex. It is the most handy tool, other than a snake hook, that one can have in their snake room when working with venomous snakes. Uh, simply because it allows you to So ready to, to go. quickly and safely 
get your venomous snake under wraps just like that. <clears throat> These are no joke taipans. Uh, so many people say that, you know, I, I see lots of my Australian friends free handling taipans both inlands and coastals. There's no way in hell you would survive free handling one of these. These, as Dave Williams says, uh, Papuan taipans don't start fights, they end them. And they end them fairly quickly. So, uh, calm down, dude. You will be okay. You couldn't go to a better place than to Jim and Kristen's. Now, I want to be really careful with those holes because snakes have this ability to bite through holes. Um, mostly pit vipers because they have that extra targeting system, but um, snakes occasionally do get lucky and that is a snake you don't want to get lucky. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now this guy I'm going to uh, put in a bag in addition to this simply because it's a snake that you don't want loose until you're ready to let it loose. So we're going to pause this right here. I will introduce a little bit of water uh, for humidity purpose because he's going to be in there for... Uh, some number of hours, perhaps up to 24 hours. So we want to keep the humidity level high. And besides, water will just piss it off. <laughs> okay, so for safety purposes, we will double bag the tie pan. Well, double containerize, let's say. You know, we've got him in a plastic container. We've got him in a snake bag. The uh, snake bag has a zip tie. Uh, and everybody knows zip ties are tough to remove even when you want to remove them. So... Uh, pretty squared away and we'll put the sticker on the bag and we'll put the, the label we don't need the number Okay, so that's one more very evil little type and uh, it's out of the room. Okay. In the box. We rarely see Pogo out. Thanks. No, 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 no. No snake hockey. That's a good type. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> They're just so keyed on that uh, pair of forceps. Here, 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 get the mouse. <laughs> All 
All right, it's dead already, I promise you. Oh, there's another one to kill. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, because she's uh, uh, iffy and easier to get out than the, the crazy uh, little reaper male. I'm going to shut her lid and let her eat because we don't want to play snake hockey. Oh, please no. <laughs> At least not with Taipans. Other snakes, it's not so bad. Taipans, no. Very bad. <laughs> um, it's somewhere in my catalog of videos uh, on the web is a picture of her mother. She was in this bottom cage where the asper is now. Uh, I stuck a rat in on the end of those forceps, she tagged it, I pulled out of the cage, and she absolutely backed me into this corner, mm. uh, came across the room, and then stopped, I froze, I, ha I grabbed a hook because, you know, I like to stash hooks everywhere, and she looked around and was like, hey, what am I doing out of my home? <laughs> <laughs> and so I easily hooked her and put her back in there and shut the door, but... That's the nature of these Taipans. They will chase you down if they think you have food. Uh, really, really, most of the danger is feeding. If I don't have food, I can handle them pretty uh, relaxed. They're not hyper. Of course, I don't push their buttons, <laughs> but they're pretty uh, relaxed about being hooked and stuff. Now these little guys, of course, uh, you know, she's food oriented. She fed, you know, pretty easy. Once you saw, once you realized that I was visiting her for food, uh, she was, oh, okay, this is why you're visiting me. Uh, it's like that meme I saw on Facebook this morning where this, uh, I don't know what it was from, but this little uh, uh, dwarf-like person, or you know, a small person, uh, was in a cage. Uh, please don't eat me. I'm here to help. And then the next frame, there's this big dragon. Uh, please don't eat the help. <laughs> um, and that's what this is like with uh, these taipans. Hi, dude. I don't want to touch his tail. Okay, that's like, oh, don't get any, come any closer. I'm going to kill you or anything that comes closer. I don't care if it's food or not. I'm frightened. He, he really, he's frightened all the time. She's not. She, you know, you saw her come up, follow the hook. She's like, ooh, food, ooh, food. He's like, Oh no, something's here to kill me. I'm going to get all nasty and defensive. Look at that mouth. Uh, and look at the heavy breathing. Um, you know, he... Uh, he's a very defensive creature. Oh, well this is the first time he's taken it uh, uh, fairly quickly. Having the Taipan's mouth occupied is always a good thing, in my opinion, unless it's occupied with your finger. Um, one thing nice about these is they don't bite and hold on to you. They just strike and release. But usually uh, in that strike and release, it's several strikes and several le releases. So each time you're getting more than probably 10 lethal doses. So it's never good to have your finger or body in contact with Taipan venom or, or mouth. Go ahead. All right, well, we don't want to scare him. Um, so I'm gonna leave his tasty treats right there. Now, I'm sort of power feeding them both. I want them to get a little bit bigger so they're less defensive and there's less opportunity for them to squeeze out of things in the cage. So we're just gonna let them go because <laughs> Like I said, we, we don't play games with these guys. I might, I might have Elvis out in the room. I might have Slinky out in the room. Uh, I might have 
curb it out in the room. Oh, we don't let these come out in the room. <laughs> uh, with good reason. Uh, very defensive, very flighty snakes. As David Williams has said, Taipans don't start fights, they end them. Uh, so, uh, that said, we will uh, entomb this little sucker for another uh, week, or I'll probably, uh, well, yeah, this is, this is all he's going to get this week because uh, I'm someplace else during the weekdays. Uh, and I'm not going to try to feed them. Oh, come on! <laughs> You're going to starve the little guy? Now, three, uh, three of those, even though he's metabolically really active, he's growing. Um, that's, those are, that's a lot of calories, even for these, this guy. He is just stunningly beautiful, but he is just uh, uh, evil incarnated. Well, not really evil. I hate using that word, but... He will kill you. He has no qualms about biting. <laughs>